Welcome to the introduction to DevOps learning path. The tools and technologies used by developers are constantly changing, as are the tools and technologies used by operations engineers. Though, with all of this change, many companies still use the same old processes to deliver software to its end users. The process may vary a bit, but it usually goes something like this. Developers are assigned some amount of new features to build. And then they go off and build those in isolation for a period of time before they consider those features complete. They hand off the code to QA for testing. QA will probably bounce back and forth with the developers for a week or two. And then the code is sent over to the operations team for deployment into production. With each group working in relative isolation and testing being done long after the code is written, it's not a surprise that it takes some companies weeks or even months to get code deployed. And the deployment process is often a weekend-long series of disasters. If you're considering taking this learning path, then this may sound all too familiar to you. The good news is there are better ways, and DevOps is one of those better ways. DevOps will provide you with a lens to view the software development process through. The goal of this learning path is to help you think about the entire software development life cycle in a different way. I want you to really start questioning how things are done and why they're done the way they are. Now, there's no perfect methodology for building, testing, deploying, and operating software. So DevOps will be a lens to look at the development process through, and it's going to help you identify the areas of your processes that could use improvement. Throughout these courses, we'll cover what DevOps is, we'll talk about continuous integration as a means of testing code on each commit. We'll move on to continuous delivery and talk about methods of getting software deployed into production on a regular basis. And we'll wrap up with a discussion of some of the challenges faced by operations engineers. This learning path will serve as a launch pad for more technical courses. Equipped with your new ways of thinking about software development, you'll be ready to start diving into more specific technologies and platforms. So. If you're ready to see software development in a different way, then let's get this learning path started.